Hello there, my Ow, what in the world? <laughs> Killed by a diamond tree. <laughs> That's one heck of a way to start an episode. Intro, take two. Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. We're Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Hermits and Crafting. And we're flying right over the top of the Hermitcraft Shopping District, where in our last episode, we defeated the Mycelium Menace and brought about a new era here in the shopping district by bringing some beauty to the area where we have these beautiful lush green valleys and fields for the hermits to frolic amongst, which I'd love to see a picture of a hermit frolicking in a green grass field. <laughs> but not only did we do that, but we also built out the start of the roads for the shopping district. And to top that off, well, we, uh, we built some diamond trees just because and they look absolutely shiny beautiful and they also killed me anyway other things we did of course more importantly really is the hermitcraft jobs bo board wrong board i didn't realize that sorry my bad dyslexia and of course the hermit rules so where we're going to start today is <laughs> <laughs> fixing the board to the right board but anyway we're going to start putting the jobs down for the hermits to do and the first jobs are going to be the roads so we're going to mark all the roads with color coordinated lines so hermits could see that i don't know this road over here is the red line there'll be red wool box across here and they'll say you know what I want to do the red line and they will take down the sign, commence the work on building out that road, using their creativity on how they envision that road to be. And then they'll come back to me for a payment from the diamond throne. So I think that is going to be a really good first set of jobs here in Hermitland. And as for rules, we've got two of them. The first one is Cub fans greatest pet peeve and that is shops who don't have ender chests so by decree of the mayor all shops must have an ender chest within 10 blocks of each other or face stiff penalties by order of the mayor our next rule is a revenue generator for paying all of those road builders out there and it is called a road access pass now road access pass grants a shopkeeper take for instance green in the barge access to connect his shop to the road systems so does that make sense we're going to build a barricade across here until he has paid his road access fee and we'll do that for each and every one of the shops and that will generate us quite a few extra diamonds to make this a little easier on the hermits to understand we're going to build a board here for the hermits to pay and to receive their road access passes for their shops we're gonna need a bigger board you don't realize how many shops are in the shopping district until you need a little spot for each one of them so we'll build another board in each of the other corners of the town hall but we got the first set here this is the shops on the furthest most right side of the island and uh, i think this is good we got this all set up so how this will work is if you are tango who owns the rocket shop you'll come up here you will replace this piece of paper with one diamond block and you'll get your road access pass which is behind the sign so i think that will work out very well so you only pay once the road is constructed as the sign says below so from that what we need to do is move on to the jobs for the shopping district. So I'm gonna grab out some colored wool and I'm gonna mark out the entire shopping district's road system and then place signs for the hermits to start building those roads. very basic road network is now laid out i'm gonna run this by the old hermits and see what they think and if they want any modifications but at this point a hermit can choose to pick a road color and build a road because this is a big job and we're gonna need a lot of people on it to make this happen and by the way i spent like 40 diamonds in concrete complete to build all this so we're going to need to sell a whole lot of road access passes. Selling all these passes isn't just a vain attempt of me maintaining the prominence of the diamond throne. No, we're going to have to pay workers and materials for all the things we're going to do here in the shopping district. So we've got the barricades ready to go for the shop owners to realize that they got to pay up here. So road access pass required to connect to the... I'm not redoing that sign. Network. <laughs> Road access pass required to connect to the road network. 
Road passes can be obtained in the town hall. So there we go. Flew back up here to town hall to grab B double O's proposed rule for the shopping district. And it's not in here anymore. And I'll be honest, I forgot what it was. So we'll have to contact him and get that on the rule board as soon as possible. But while I was here, I found this. Wow, I wish there was a chair here. And I agree, Birch sign. I wish there was a chair here too. So that got me thinking, what if we make the chair way at the top here instead of down at the bottom where it was originally where everybody piled diamonds on top of my old comfy seat. But if we build it up there, it'd be awesome because then hermits, when they come to pay respects to me, they could be like, oh, great and powerful Scar, you have brought so much prosperity and green to the shopping district. I bow at your feet. Um, I uh, promise that I haven't let this whole diamond throne mare thing go to my head. That was just a dramatization, purely fictional. Promise, kind of. And now we have our ladder to get to the top of the diamond throne. And I went out and grabbed some of our mini blocks in the diamond variety and some end rods. I think it would look really cool as little diamond spikes at the top of the throne. So I think right here is gonna be where the throne is because we wanna have like a little bit of the throne behind us as like a backdrop to it. If that make, make... <gasps> <laughs> why are the greens down here? What the heck? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, <laughs> wait, hold on. Let's do this again. Okay. All right. We're going to make our chair here and yeah, see, there's no greens. Oh, no, there is. Yep. Okay. Um, hello. Where have you all come from? No, that's a hanging green. That's, that, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. I can, I can take ground level greens, but I can't take hanging greens. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, yes, I quite agree. Nothing like hanging with your friends. I say chaps, wouldn't it be lovely to be in the upside down? This is getting very British. I concur my human, yeoman. We need to stop sitting on the diamonds and go. <laughs> I don't know what this means. Have they always been in there? Well, either way, still need to make my chair. I guess the question I have, have I always been sitting on Grian's face this whole time? <laughs> anyway, we've got some upgrades to the diamond throne and I think they're looking pretty cool. We've got our chair up there and we've got our ladder, of course. Now, the ladder is for the mayor of Hermitcraft only, by the way. So if you see any other hermits violating this very important rule, you, you let me know, okay? And then up at the top here, we've got our diamond spikes, just a little more intimidating. So I think that looks really cool, but I'm still a little bit worried about what's going on here. Now, I think I've realized what it could be. If I can add some light in here, the upside down. Green's in the nether and he's hanging from the ceiling. Wait, he invited us a while back, didn't he? Hmm. Maybe it's finally time to accept that invitation that I completely forgot about and make our way to the nether. I mean, we've got a giant hole for that. See, you didn't forget about my enormous big dig, did you? Look at the size of that thing. And down below, as you can see, we're on the precipice of penetrating the nether rack and making our way right down into the nether. So when this thing starts pulling back nether rack and other nether materials, that means that we can finally jump right into the nether. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we got another one, boys. <laughs> Oh, we got another hanging green in here. This one has a shulker box on it. Invitation to the upside down. Oh, that is a lot of invitations. Now, there are two people you never want to ignore their invitations from. Green and Dumbledore. Don't worry, my fine, persistent, feathered friend. We're coming for you. When this thing starts pulling out Netherrack, that means we're going to make the leap of faith to the nether and join you in the upside down. But until then, wait. We also need to get pants before we do that. As you can see, I am currently pantsless and that is inappropriate. Other than that, we've got some major projects to build until the drill finishes up. Do you want to get crazy together? Because I want to get crazy, sit back, relax, and just build with no real plan or direction. That's the mood that I'm in. So are you okay with getting crazy with me? Because that is what we're going to do right now. With no plan of anything, I just want to see where my imagination takes me in adding life to the build. And as I always say, there are two key ingredients to make 
a nice looking structure pop. That's landscape and life. And life is the human element to a build, like for the parking lot out here, cars and things along those lines, maybe chain link fences or some kind of checkpoint right here. These are all just ideas that are popping out of my head right now. And that's kind of what I want to do. Had a really stressful week and all I want to do is relax, hang out with you and build. So with that, my friends, why don't we just jump into super fast pantsless mode and make some magic happen. super fast pantsless building mode and we've got ourselves a pretty good looking front of the big dig here we have so many fun little things to show you but before i do i gotta show you the cutest cat in the whole wide world hi jelly jelly i'm over here hello hi there you are <laughs> you're amazing aren't you she's been keeping me company well i've been building out the vehicle security checkpoint so this is where vehicles going into the big dig are inspected before they are let inside i think this is looking really cool originally i used redstone torches did not go well so replaced them with mushroom blocks and i think that's kind of a fun little touch on top of the vehicle blockade barrier <laughs> i don't know what to call it anyway over here we've got ourselves a chain link fence and i think that's like one of the best fences ever in minecraft using the new chain blocks really does look like a chain link fence like i'm absolutely in love with that we've got some street lights all installed and ready to go and we have a bit of a landscaping i'm keeping the landscaping very understated and i think this looks really nice i don't want the landscape to distract from all of the things that we've built but i just wanted to kind of blend it in the background and I think we've slowly achieved that. So the next thing that I'd like to do is build a ScarX logo. Now this is just a prototype. We'll see how it unfolds in the future, but I just want to put something down. If you like it, if you don't, let me know or if you have a better design, but let me try something. That is looking spicy as a logo. I am loving it. Now it's got orange and it's got a little bit of dark gray, a little bit of blue. Now, as I said, we might change this in the future, but for now, I think it is looking really cool and it definitely fits the design of the big digs. So I think that is looking absolutely. There was a zombie problem here, by the way, evident by the all of the flesh on the ground but uh i love the little areas that uh, you can stick in lighting so this looks like it's supporting the structure as if these are you know bound into the ground with concrete or something but they're really just light sources and uh, i think it works in two directions so that is looking good now we need to move on to our next phase of adding a little bit of life here to the big dig and our next thing i want to build is a heliport I want to build power generation. I want to build battery banks. I want to build a vehicle elevator that brings vehicles down to the nether. And well, this is going to be perfect because there's a road on the other side of the door. Hey, Bodie, how are you? So yeah, I think that will be absolutely amazing to have a vehicle elevator here. And uh, I'm coming gray and don't worry. <laughs> so with that, my friends, let's hit super fast build mode for one more time. Pantsless, of course and finish out the big dig once and for all.
super fast build mode and we've got some massive new additions to the scar x big dig project which i'm super happy about the first of those is the new atc tower and heliport on its custom rock face here looking super snazzy and as we fly up to the top here you can see the two heliports we have a spinny radar at the top and as for the kind of the control room where the atc goes on well we don't have anything there yet but we're gonna do that on stream soon one thing is missing with this tower and well that is a helicopter or a vtol and i tried quite a few different designs and well i hey what are you doing buddy where'd you come from <laughs> get out of here well i guess this goes on to the uh unintentional mob farms i think we're on 862 and as i was trying to say i'm still working on some vtols and some helicopter designs and eventually we'll make one but until it's perfect I don't want to ruin this area because I am very happy with it. Also, I love the new blue torch. It makes runways and heliports just that one degree more realistic. Where's B-dubs when you need him? <laughs> we need a sleeper here. Cub in his pyramid doesn't need to sleep. He's got no windows. The other thing we worked on is the power generation for the project area. And we've got some brand new wind turbines here looking super fancy. I, I love these because they're a little bit different in design from our previous one. So I had a lot of fun experimenting with different designs. And instead of doing kind of the more traditional ones, I think these are unique and different and I'm loving it. Now down below here is a massive battery bank that powers the entire base of operations here. It looks like a Looks like a sandwich once I think about it. <laughs> it does. Ooh, jumping salmon. Um, anyway, so once we get this done a little bit more, it's not 100% done. We are going to make some cabling that'll come out of here and connect to the drill. And if you can see over here, we are going to connect each one of the wind turbines together and then connect it to the battery so it has one cohesive system. And the last thing we did here was the vehicle. Okay, that was a witch. And that was very scary. <laughs> anyway, as I said, we have vehicle access to our nether now. So we have these little barricades here that go up and down to keep, well, <laughs> vehicles from going over that edge. And on the platform here, we've got some TNT for some blasting and the return of RoboBro 3000. Or was it 6000? I can't remember but he is tied down to keep him from doing any rolling around. And of course, we have our elevator commander captain pilot <laughs> helmsman <laughs> i don't know what you would call an elevator uh, operator maybe just an elevator operator <laughs> i don't know but i think this thing looks really cool and you can see the track going down into the void there and yeah that was a lot of building and i absolutely had a blast it was so relaxing just to sit back relax and just build with no regard for anything honestly just whatever came to mind something very tragic just happened and i don't know what the odds are but i can tell you it's probably very low jelly got struck by lightning where she was once on this pedestal and died as you can see in the screenshot i mean can we get an f in the chat for this this is super sad <laughs> oh poor little jelly was once here it's a good thing i've got like 50 more in reserve in a secret cave but Still, that's super sad. I do feel bad that I forgot about Green's invitation, but we're almost there to the nether finally. And of course, he dropped us the coordinates here. So yeah, we're headed to the upside down green. I'm keeping this invitation in my inventory until I get there. I have been working on this video for over a week now. And over the course of that time, I have been thinking a lot about the shopping district and the roads. And I think I have a better idea for how we're going to do them. We are going to create a great road building competition. That is right. Hermits can sign up for the competition and the road that they want to redo and do it in a fun, unique, original way. And then have it be judged with a chance of winning a massive pile of diamonds. I've put together a book for the hermits to read and see if they are interested in joining the competition here. So 
The Great Hermit Road Building Competition. You are invited to join the competition and build a road for the shopping district and have a chance of winning a massive pile of diamonds. The roads will be judged by the illustrious and all-wise Mayor Scar, Captain of the Mayor B00 and the Jelly Cat. <laughs> That's right. I didn't know who the third person would be, so I picked Jelly for now. Yes, a cat. Judging criteria, originality, funny, beautiful, technical. This is just like a placeholder. But the idea behind this is I don't want just a, a builder to, you know, think that, oh, this is just a builder's competition. No, I want people with redstone backgrounds. I want people with armor stand backgrounds to join in because you can make a cool redstone contraption for a road. And I'd love to see that. That's why we have originality, funny, beautiful. You can even make a funny road if you want or a beautiful road. It's anything you want. That's the beauty of Minecraft. So that should be part of the competition. If you have what it takes to create an amazing road for the shopping district, sign up now. To sign up, rename the colored wool block of the road of your choosing to claim that road and spot in the competition. You can team up. That's the first probably only rule. <laughs> and there we go. The Great Hermit Road Building Competition is now set up. We have our wool blocks on the ground. A hermit can come up here, claim the red, the pink, the blue, or the yellow, and have a chance to win a massive pile of diamonds. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. So we need to decide who will be the third judge, right? Because I don't know if we can have a cat <laughs> be the judge of the hermit competition. So let me know who you want to see. The time has finally come. We've put in a ton of work to get to this point where we can finally get to the 1.16 nether. And as you can see, we've got red nether rack being pulled out of the debris elevator, which means we're going to the 1.16 nether. So let's put on our biohazard suits here. And then we'll throw that on and we'll get our wings on and then green's invitations do we have enough invitations let's bring them all with us just in case <laughs> oh no i lost the book and i said i would keep it in my inventory i don't remember the coordinates shoot <laughs> well we do have the helmet on because i don't know what's there it could smell I, I really think it smells do you think the nether smells i feel like it smells terrible anyway that's why i got the helmet on so with that my friends wish me luck I'll see you in the next episode in the Nether.